Hey everyone, West Productions 100 here. So, I've been I'm, I'm planning to do a video about this in general, but today I'm going to be focusing particularly on Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York State, because just an hour ago or a couple hours ago, I was watching a, a live press conference where he was giving a, a daily a, a briefing, a daily up, update on the situation with COVID-19 or coronavirus in the state of New York, and also maybe just just elsewhere in general as well, just nationwide as well. Uh, but he was. But yeah, so um, one of the things he did, and I've been noticing this uh, multiple times already, um, but I'm just, I'm just talking about Andrew Cuomo here. I'll probably do I might, I might I might talk about another bring up little examples here and there, but just just this focus on young people, just this focus on young people and the coronavirus and the COVID nineteen. I've been I've been noticing that you know news media outlets like NBC Nightly News and other people have special have dedicated special broadcasts about a select group of younger people who happen to be on beaches in Florida right now. Just while there are younger people on the beaches for spring break, for all we know, there could be older people on the beaches as well. But, you know, they're focusing on younger people on the beaches in in Florida. And Andrew Cuomo has made, you know, us, 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 us you know, he made a comment about this, essentially. He's, he, he made a comment about younger people in general. He argued that younger people are not contributing well enough. Now, here's the thing about that. Is there some truth to that? Yes, there is. This, there is some truth to that. However, this, this, I've noticed that this, there's this, uh, there's this bias towards sometimes younger people in general. I mean, we've seen it on the news media, like in the past, and uh, we're seeing it again. Now, are younger people, are some younger people being irresponsible with this whole situation? Yes, I would argue they are. I've seen the, news, I've seen the news reports myself, and uh, they are not. Some of them are not taken seriously. However, if we're going to you know, criticize younger people for doing this. First off, we need to acknowledge that all younger people are not doing this. Some younger people, like myself, are staying put, they're, you know, hunkering down, or they're not going out unless, you know, absolutely need be, or like they're just, you know, they're just not really going out, you know, as much right now. Um, also, I've noticed like, when, in case of younger people, I've also seen some of the pictures, like with, some of the, with people going out to the bars. Some of the people in those pictures are also older people, which brings me to my other point. Older people are also contributing to this problem. They're contributing to in various ways. They're, and, and this is both younger and older people. But my point is, I'm arguing that the this 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 attention to younger people, you know, there not enough attention is being brought on to the more positive aspects that younger people are contributing as well, and none enough aspects of none of criticisms being de de derived towards older people as well. Um, older people are in higher positions of leadership generally so i can understand why older people would not want to bring attention to them to themselves or to groups that they identify with so that being said it's also important just to talk about you know how older people are also contributing to this problem as well i've seen posts online from older people who are contributing to this to the spread of misinformation and to the spread of rumors i've seen older people and younger people by the way contribute to this and also spread false rumors and spread conspiracy theories i've seen people i've, I've been shared information about like certain about certain therapies that are completely non non-scientific um that include a uh, gargling water with salt water for your throat that include um uh, the hair dryer thing um and uh, just other things too in general i've seen press conferences from when it comes to to governorships where uh some representatives of their office or their administration are trying to say something and people are not taking them seriously. I've seen one example where a bunch of older people think that this one rep who's like in charge of health is, uh, is it, they, they think, they think she comes off as an actor, like a crisis actor. So, you know, this is not just a thing with younger people. Older people are contributing to this problem too by spreading misinformation by not taking it seriously by the way i've seen plenty of older people who are like what's the big deal with this coronavirus thing you know this is this is just like, like the, the common call there's like the flu why are we shutting down all these restaurants and bars like oh you know screw you you know governors in your states that are shutting down bars and restaurants you know you're you know this is not right you know you shouldn't be telling people how to live their lives and stuff like that i've seen posts like that from multiple older people so it's not just younger people who are contributing to the to this issue right here and honestly, you know, when it comes to when it comes to shutting down bars and restaurants, I don't fully know how things are going to go with that either. You know, I mean, like I'd like to hope that the measures we're taking place are going to help with the healthcare system because some of the reasons why we're doing that is because of the healthcare system because the, so the healthcare system doesn't come, become overwhelmed, so we don't see 
issues like we've like we've seen in in Italy and China and other places where their healthcare systems have become very overwhelmed and you know have lots of patients. We're trying to minimize the spread of the virus, the spread of the coronavirus. But my point is, I've seen older people contribute in reckless ways, just like younger people have. So, you know, if you're going to criticize younger people for, you know, the recklessness, because some of them have been reckless. Yes, this is true. At the same time, older people have also been reckless. Some older people who are who are acting arrogant on social media or the internet or, you know, in, in their own personal lives, because you know if they're acting arrogant in on social media, chances are they're acting arrogant like that in person, talking to individuals or talking on the phone. So, you know, thinking this is some giant government conspiracy or, you know, the New World Order or just other, this other nonsense I've been seeing online. And, uh, you know, so, and the reason why, and, and I'm, I'm directing this directly a more particular to Andrew Cuomo in this particular piece because Andrew Cuomo is one of the latest examples to be doing this, you know, where he had to put out, he had, he had like a, he had like a PowerPoint style presentation and he put, had a certain slide just for dedicated to younger people. And then he goes on to, you know, talk about his other slides, you know, about rumors and misinformation and stuff like that. But there was no slide for older people and how they're contributing to potentially contributing to the to the falsehoods and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of people in this country have not been taken this seriously at all, even before we had these lock, you know, not the lockdowns, the, uh, you know, j just the closing of, you know, bars and restaurants and limiting them to carry out or drive throughs and stuff like that. They have not, you know, we've been asked to, you know properly wash our hands um you know just people think this is you know they think this is not a big deal right now um and i i think i i have to disagree i think that this is more serious than some people are taking this to be um i think that uh, what andrew cromo said while he while he's partly correct i think is also not providing enough nuance to the situation i think that we i think that people in general need to really think about this stuff you know maybe if you're not maybe if you, you know if you're not knowledgeable about these things i'm not an expert myself but i've studied some history on these things like the spanish the, the 19 the 1918 spanish flu um or the bubonic plague or other you know certain situations like this throughout history um and again in this case it's not it's not just about oh this has a lower ish mortality rate it has to do with um you know the healthcare system if it's you know how how clogged it might be and how overwhelmed it might become that's what that's why, that's why they're taking some of these measurements that they are right now and i hope in these cities that they don't have to shut down public transportation because like you know we still have to make things function to some degree yeah we're living in a it, uh, we're living with a limited, we're limited, we're, we're we're working with a limited scope right here. But people have endured much harsher limitations, um, much harsher limitations. I mean, like I don't take, I don't know if I have to give out examples, but I just know from history that people have lived through much worse than we have. So, um, but like again, some of these conspiracy theories and some of this misinformation I've been seeing from both old and young people, you know, is a little disheartening. This idea that like this is a government takeover, this has nothing to do with a virus. Very, very, um, very uh, concerning to see that, to say the least. Um, again, I plan to do a whole video about you know this in general. Maybe may do multiple videos because why not? But like, you know, this one really, this one is really about you know more directed towards Andrew Cuomo's press briefing today on the on the date of March. Uh, 21st, yeah, March 21st, so, you know, just like, because I've been seeing this stuff about, you know, these young people at the beaches in Florida and stuff like that, I mean, like, do people forget that there's young people throughout this entire country right now, that there's young people throughout the entire world, you know, that, you know, and some of them are trying to help and trying to, you know, contribute in various positive ways as well, and that also, we have to also acknowledge that there's older people out there too who are not contributing and are contributing to the in, in a positive way they're, and they're contributing to the by spreading misinformation and rumors and and falsehoods and uh and other things too so this is not just an issue with younger people this is you know i think we you know like i i can't you know i can't tell you how many times i've seen comments like against like people who are trying to take preventative health measures 
I've, I've even seen people go as far as to call uh, the gov- some of the, the one of the governors who shut down, um, you know, the bars and restaurants, a communist, because he's trying to limit the spread of a virus. It's like you're totally missing the point by calling the go- that governor a communist. Like, way to just totally miss the point of this. Like to me, that just shows you. That just tells me that you don't fully understand what could potentially happen um, if we don't enact these kind of measures. Now, one can even one 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 might be wondering if these measures are even going to be worth it or not. We I mean, is it too late already? You know, we don't even fully know at this point. Um, that being said, we should um, try and uh, practice social dis- dis- distancing. Also, if you can buy gloves, buy gloves. If you can buy disinfectant wipes, buy disinfectant wipes. Buy face masks if you can. I know I know people have been saying, um, but you know, in regards to face masks. Um, I know the healthcare workers need them more than we do, so they come, you know, first come, first curve, first serve basis. Um, I feel like this should be a logistics thing that should be worked out by the manufacturers of those companies who produce those things, um, and whatever is left over that can be sold, you know, in store should be considered selling in store. Also, maybe consider, you know, other things like using scarves as a as a face mask and stuff like that. I know it's not a very um, great thing, but if you could just stay inside too, you know, just you know, just, just things that other people already even said, you know, I'm not saying anything, anything new at this point. Um, so, but yeah, no, I just want to bring, again, I'm planning to do more videos about, you know, this criticism towards young people and the, and the absence of criticism towards older individuals or people in general who are, you know, who may not, who may be spreading false information or rumors or misinformation because like, again, I'm just saying, you know, but yeah, there's those younger people in Florida that are putting themselves at risk, and they're putting older, older individuals at risk, and just putting individuals at risk who are, who are more vulnerable. You know, they could get their friends sick too. They could get their colleagues sick. Um, get people in their age range sick too. You know, not everyone. You know, I I I also got I also got to bring this up while I'm doing this. But like, I've been noticing this this I've been noticing this. Okay, so statistically, still, um, if you are below the age of like 60, or 65 you are not as likely to get fatally ill. And I think there's been a misinterpretation of that. It seems like people have misinterpreted that to, to think that anyone below a certain age range is somehow just immune automatically from this disease or they or if they get infected, they won't develop severe symptoms. And I don't know why people are thinking that. That statistic was just was just it was just it was just suggesting that um that they're less likely to get ill, but that's not the same thing as saying you're immune. Less likely does not equal immunity. Like, yes, you can still get this. You, you can still get sick from this, people. Anyone can get sick from this. Even little children can get sick from this. Like, this is not like. Uh, I, I don't understand why people assumed that less. You know, if you're not in a more vulnerable category, that you're that, that equals immunity. That does not. That's not what that means. Like, immunity is not the same thing as being less likely to get something. Or less likely to develop a severe symptoms. <coughs> so, um, um, but yeah. So, anyway, I plan to make more videos. Like I said, I was, you know, I was gonna make more videos. So, there'll be more videos to come. Um, and take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay well.